Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 96. So, last blooming episode, we stuck in this blooming pattern in here. Uh, we did a lot of um and ah. Uh, we tried a giant X in here. It just didn't work out. It was a pain in the bum. Still gets to me. I do, it's growing on me. This new pattern that we've installed is actually growing, growing on me. I do like it. Probably something a little better out there, but we did discuss something in the future, like a, when we install the wall, the, out, the outer walkway, that this will be going to connect to it like it's holding it up, and that would be pretty cool. So that's what we've sort of gone off. But uh, everything is starting to look real 3D-ish. We've got three thick Guardian over there built out of uh, some natural stones and stuff because we didn't want uh, an overly crazy like cement like very bright and colorful we tried to like blend it in that's what we've gone with we've nailed that new strap a new door bloody looks beautiful we've been working bloody last few episodes we've been working flat out to get to where we are now now you may have noticed over here i've already started on the next section yes i started on the next section. it feels a bit different doing it like this because normally i just sit at the bottom and i get rid of all the sand just glass up this time i have to put the strap in first then sit on top of the strap then get rid of all the glass uh, all the sand then start to glass up then i've got to do the top part as bloomin well to try match that one over there so they're all the same so that's a little different there but yeah she's coming along nicely something as i said of chiseling away at slowly chiseling chiseling away at slowly now since we're doing all this bloomin work to the main base which is great fantastic guardian farms look at how many in there that's nuts uh, Guardian Farm slash Main Base, which is fine. Uh, I know we got to be doing some work on the Mob Bob Farm soon. Uh, but uh, what I want to do, there's still one major job that's... Well, not major job, but something still that's really getting to me. And it's probably been getting to you guys as well. And that there is this up and down ramp. It just doesn't feel right. Now, I really want to put a circle in okay a circle pathway so we've got to find the inners and outer diameter of that so we could match that path up there but that's not center i want to do a central path like a central round path that goes all the way around so we can have trees and flowers on both sides look you know look beautiful once it's complete that's going to be like the key there right that's definitely going to be the key to that the problem is is finding the demon inner and outer diameter of a circle that's going to fit perfectly in the middle and also um removing or just not removing remember i still want the manual staircase and even though we've got an elevator shaft we built an elevator shaft we installed it and eventually we're going to have one going up and down probably never use the stairs again <laughs> but it's good to have it for uh just you know people that don't know don't want to use the the, uh, the elevator or whatever it's good to have the stairs in anyway so first things first i'm going to actually rip out the top oh great glitched already yep that was see the torch was floating so it was glitched already so i'm going to rip out the top bit here and i'm going to fill it in with dirt because we're going to sort of almost hit the reset button but not hit the reset button a bit hard to explain it's a little easier to do it this way so we're going to cover it all up and we're going to start with something very basic and the very basic i need to go get chicken uh the very basic thing would be in the inner and outer circle path once we've got the inner and outer circle path, we can then worry about what the flaming, you know, we're going to do with the, with with this. So, you know, there's a lot of thinking there. But I've moved all the chests over here when I was working on the glass over there. So hopefully we've got a bit of dirt in here to sort of fill in. Uh, see, dirt, dirt, dirt. Probably dirt down the mine shaft. If not, that's fine. We'll go down the mine, grab some of that. But we'll dirt over the top of it. It's going to allow, it's going to be a bit laggy too, but... This is also going to help us figuring out what the bloomin' hell are we going to be doing next, if you know what I mean. So I fill all this in. I'm, I should go down first and grab the dirt, because I'm definitely not going to be able to uh, really finish that. Um, so we'll go down and grab some dirt first. Oh, I still haven't decorated this corridor yet. So much to go. Alright, so see, we've got dirt here, dirt there, flaming dirt everywhere. Alright, go over to the mine shaft over here. There's tons of freaking chests over here that's just full of all sorts of stuff. So we'll go on over here and just get some dirt out of them. There we go, some there. Alright, so we've got... I think we've got enough 
to get us going. Well, to seal the hole anyway. That should be perfect, all right? Let's go ahead and run back out and go back out and fill that in. So, now, I'm going to be using plots to obviously figure the inner and outer dome, and I've preached plots so many times, but, you know, you still get the occasional message like, Data, what was that website called? Are you blummin' kidding? Check that description! <laughs> so I'll be using plots, and if you don't know what plots is, it is a thing to help you with making round circles and stuff. Um, you can plan out designs and builds, and yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go to plots and use an ellipsoid and do some perimeter checks, but I know the original tank thing, so I'm going to come out from a few from that. So first fill all this in, then go to plots, figure out what derm it is going in the middle, and then I can tell you guys what's up as well. So because um, there are a few people, and yes, I already know of one of them, uh, Dravilla, following me uh, at home, building uh, side by side, literally a clone of what I'm building, so well, there are a few people out there that actually do that, so I'm going to take that, I'm, I'm, it's glitching, lagging every time I place a block because the sort of sealing up the light down there, there we go. And the grass will slowly grow over the top of this bad boy. But yeah, so I like to always, you know, reveal uh, the dam demeters or how big it is, etc. Because so people can just follow at home and all that good stuff. Hey, God, what? Are, hey, nick off, mate. You're pushing me. Oi, that's it. Get, just freaking nick off. I'm not going to hit it because, you know, you just hit one pig, man. And, ugh. Stroth. All right, I'll be right back. Let me fill this in and then I'm going to go over to plots and have a quick squeeze. And see what uh, see what term it is I'm gonna need for today. Alrighty then, guys, I am back now. I've gone ahead, and as you can see, well, the grass has actually grown over most of it, but uh, as you can see, the uh, uh, that's all sealed up now, nice and pretty, and I've gone over to plots and have a quick look and, yeah, just figuring stuff out, and I think, uh, don't call me to this, because this could be a bloody disaster <laughs> if it doesn't work, but I'm pretty sure... The the diameters of the inner circle for the for, for the new path to be the center is si is fifty two, and then the outer should be sixty two. So I'm just gonna do some just count blocks for a second in a second. I'm just gonna grab some sandstone because we're gonna start with a base of a sandstone and then sort of work off the path from that. Uh, probably not going to make it all the way around due to the Bob Farm, the Bob Gra uh, naming station and everything being in the way, but it's a good start knowing what's going on here. Okay, so, alright, so, oh, crocky. So this is the centre. These two blocks, these two bad boys right here are the centre. Alright, that's the centre. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. And the same thing, don't count this block because that's in the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm pretty sure this here, or start of this one, should be the inner the inner diameter of 52 on plots using an eclipse. And this should be a 62. All right, that's nice four wide. That should be nice curvy. And as you can see, six and six. There you go. Center, that path. That bad boy is going to be purely center all the way around. So that's going to be fantastic. Let's give it a quick start here. So those two are the center. Yep, just double checking. Yep, so those are the, this all needs to be filled in. So one, two, three. Oh man, this, this shovel's just going to be nuts. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, so the first is a tenner. Okay, so double check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, ten. Okay, so that's fine. There's the in, inner. Inner and outer. So the, the inner, the, t the 52, and the outer of 62 is still the same. So there's a ten on this side as well. But I'm not going to confuse myself because it's two different... Two different plot circles. So what I'll do is sort of do the inner half. What I want to do is not do that way. I just want to do this way. And then when the glass is complete and we finish with the naming station, then do around and around and around. I just sort of wanted to start it off. Okay, okay, good stuff. So the next one here is a four. One, two, three, 
four, then a double two. I can see the old staircase below. We're going to make adjustments shortly. So there's a double two, as, as I was saying. There's a one. Then another another one. Uh, number two, sorry. One, two. And it is a one, two, three, four. And then we're literally reversing the same pattern. So it's a two. And then a one. Then a two, two. Then a four. Okay. So that's the inner, quite simply, the inner. That's literally the inner. And then uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and then there should be ten here. So one, two. I'll oh, just do this and then count. It's a lot easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that comes to there. That comes. Ooh. Ah. Oh, okay. All right. It, I think it is. It should bloody fit. I'm just. Shouldn't this be in the middle? I don't know. Flame and galah. Better freaking work. But anyway, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. So getting the same six number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. Oh no, because the door and everything was one out. So technically, the f the wall is. I just panicked myself then. Hang on, I'm done to double check that. Okay, so technically it's where the sandstone is. Uh, so the sandstone will be here. You start there, you silly drongo. <sighs> Nearly had a heart attack then going, what? It's off. Shouldn't be off. So it's the start. That's where the door is technically right there. One, two, three, four, five, uh, four. Uh, ah! There. No, nope, that's five. No, this is off. This has to be off. Unless I went one, it go here. Is it one there? Ah, oh, it's true. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be right. There's a four gap. One, two, three, four. That would be perfect. Six and six. And this is a nice curve. Look at this. Nice curve all the way around. Literally. It stops there. Yeah, see? Oh, it's roughly the same. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, now that's fine. I was looking at that marker there, and that marker. See, that's perfect, but why does the, the other one do that? Unless I got my counting wrong. There's a four, two, two, one, two, four. One, two, three, four, two, one, two, twos, four. Ah! Ah, you, didn't, you guys didn't point that out. Ah, that's where I screwed up. Four... And then we add an extra one to the back here. Oh, thank God. I thought I screwed that up majorly. And then one, two, three, four. Three, four. Perfect. There you go. Perfectly even. Look. And. Oh, fuel. Lucky. Okay. That bad boy is now done. Go away. Nick off, mate. Nick off. Nick off. Nick off. Nick off. Nick off, nick off. Just, just, just nick off. <laughs> oh, struth. So, yeah, no, that's all right now. Uh, I was a bit panicky there. I didn't do a four, and you guys probably noticed it before I did. Uh, let me go ahead and do the 62 on the out. So, remember, I'm going out now, so I'm doing 62. I'll start over here, and I will fill this all in. So, just to see what it looks like. I will be back shortly. I don't want to bore you too much, but it is another 10. It is literally another 10. So, you just sort of replicate. No, it's this one. Replicate that, and literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, and ten. There we go, guys. See, another ten. There you go. It's a four wide. Remember that. Remember. All right. I'll keep all the dirt. Oh, nuts! Glitching. There. Oh, what? Flame and galah. Oh, there we go. Woo, woo. Oh, righty then, guys. I am back. Now, now I've gone ahead and installed the rest of the path, but it ended up being too skinny over here. So I went two more outwards because it was it's way too skinny. You have to... The, the, the worst thing about these side ones is you have to make the originals quite thick. So it was, it was a big decision. I had to go thicker with which the problem was that now it's a bit lopsided as you can see there's four now on the and it starts on the fifth block 
And this is still uh, one, two, three, four, five, six is there. That's meant to be six, so it still starts in the seven. So it it didn't. The inner obviously didn't change. I just went out one. It's still sixty-two, by the way, sixty-two. So that's still a sixty-two. See what I mean? There's ten here. Look, ten, four, three, two, two, one, two. And five, yeah, same thing. So I've gone out by uh, one because just things weren't weren't seeming right. Now, dug a little bit around the corner as well, as you can see, stopped, obviously. But that is a very nice path. Very nice path indeed. Now, uh, what I'm probably going to do is raise it with half slabs um, and, like, leave an edging on both sides. Maybe, maybe either put the orange edging in on both sides and just have sandstone in the middle to make it pop or you know vice versa have have sandstone on there and then orange in the middle slabs to walk on so yeah bloody brilliant bloody brilliant stuff another thing bites of dust that was on my mind like how are we going to do the path this is like you know uh, yeah it's, it's got to be awesome it's like you know walking like the path of kings you know true so we'll pop we'll go ahead and plug this in here you know, make sure it's all connected for now. We'll decorate this little stuff later on. Even add a couple extra on here, like so. There you go, see? Ah. Now, only if we can get one more thing a little bit done. So, there we go. Look at that. Come out. Brilliant. Things are just coming together. Okay, so. Alright. So, underneath us right now is the old stairway system. So, what I want to do is find where she is there she is right, crack it open there you go there's the old stairway system so what i want to do because it used to come straight up there like that go straight into the path no go that is definitely a no go so what we've got to do is try to curve it that's right the same as the path we're going to try curve it so let's go ahead and jump down there do i have enough on me right now to finish that up yes i do ow so, curve it. This is what I mean about curving it. So, we'll fix this up later. Um, we're, sh we're following the same as the path. So, that one, that one, that one, that one. So, this will be a no That will be all blocked off. Do I have a torch? I'm running out of bloody torches here. All right, place that on the other side there. So, we get nothing spawning in there. And there you go. So, this here is the new... What, we what we've got to design the new stairway off. Um... So it's just got to be, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to, it has to curve, see what I mean? It has to curve. So this stair's got to go, that stair's got to go, and we've done it, right there. So this will have to be adjusted as well, but there we go, get rid of that one, Bob's your uncle. Okay, and then we'll probably s just sort of slice off this as well, there you go, taking all that out, I think there's a glitch block or two there. So, as you can see, it goes up. I just need to curve that bit there. If we could get that nailed and connect it to the path, I think that would be perfect. So, let's go ahead, dig out some of this. We're going to have to do some filling in. I know. Where's the footpath? Here, it's still there. There it is. I'm sort of following the footpath. There we go. Yep, there's the path still. All right. So, roundabout looks like you'll be coming out about here. So, let's slice this up. If we can get this to work, it's going to be freaking epic. I'll slice that up. I'll slice that up. And then I just got to replicate it on the other side. It shouldn't be too difficult. And slice that up. There we go. Perfect. All right, might be need to be one back. Oh, my, is that no, it's sunset now? Bloody truth. I don't want it touching the fish tank because I think a lot of people say take it right back to the tank. I think that's a no-go. It's got to be a couple off the tank. Um, so get rid of this. Um, get rid of that. That's the new edge. There we go. And just sort of run it close to the tank but not quite hitting the tank. Just off it a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I think that's perfect right there. So you would have to shave off the wall here just to get it a bit wider and up it goes ow glitchy block there it's a blooming gravel blo block of course it was a bloody gravel block so we need to obviously start shaving a little bit more on the sides here to start curving it and we're going to need stairs it's going to need more stairs here 
It's going to be trial and error, this bit. This bit's just going to be nuts. Usually people do cornering with, um, um, freaking, um, slabs. That's right, I was slipping my mind there. People normally do this cornering with slabs, but I'm not planning on ripping it all up. Slabs means a greater distance as well. So that's a no-go. So what we've sort of got to do is just go with the flow. Maybe, probably what a best thing to do is literally start on one of these sides first and literally just come up like that see see look at that oh we followed the path around we just need to do this little inner bit here and bob's your uncle we have done it and we've got to get rid of that we've got to clear out that wall there but it goes straight and then turns curves see we've got a curvy stair yeah all right, grab all these back because we're going to need them that's awesome. And then do exactly the same. So we can't adjust that, but we can adjust this side. See, it's all curvy. That one. We want at least a two-way. Oh, hello. And we'll probably do three to be certain. There you go. So it connects to there. So I just got to remember, I can't ruin the edge here. Because I, if I'm going to do a perfect circle with a, you know, turn off, I'm going to be real careful what I'm doing. So we'll do one extra, sort of just come down like a stepping, looking good, it's looking fantastic. And that's more of the what's we call it. A uh, little bit wider, don't you think? Just one, alright, that one, and we'll leave that alone, bomb, bomb. So it's going to be all about trial and error here, and I know that for a fact. Just trying to get it a bit, the as wide as you want. Just fine-tuning it's just going to be a bit of a pain in the bum. See? It's probably too wide now. I've gone a bit too wide, I reckon, with the turn. I think I had it perfect. What about just adding that one in there like that? Yeah, no, no. No, no. It's starting to look good. Again, look, see? So, just this section probably out by one. Yeah, it's going to be about trial and error, this section. Look at that. See? I like it. We're following the edge of the path. We come up. We walk on the path, and it sort of goes down as well. Look at that. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode 96 of Minecraft Down Under. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you smash all those buttons, guys. There, are, there's all the all the links are in the description. If you want plots, in the description. Uh, you want to come join us on Discord? Fantastic community over on Discord. Yeah, there's a link in the description. Minecraft server on the, in the description as well. Far out, there's everything in the description. All right, guys, we're going to... Uh, Alright, yeah, we'll wrap things up. I think we did good today. I just gotta fix this up and replicate it on the other side. So it's gonna be like a big smiley face. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll catch you all later.